Hi everyone and welcome to PsyQ. Normally we take video requests from you, our subscribers, but today we took video requests from one of our own. This is Beck, host of Stylog. You can check her out on Stylog at the URL below. So Beck, tell us about what your PsyQ question was for today. My question today is why does Jade use really cheap day creams when I use a nice expensive anti-wrinkle cream and I want to know like is there a difference between the stuff that you buy like in Walgreens or some cheap place for like five ten dollars and the stuff that you buy all fancy packaged and nice like Estee Lauder or something that has you know all these fancy scientific claims like is there a difference between the cheap stuff and the really expensive stuff yes so I use the cheap stuff I'm a fan of the Nivea moisturizer you're a fan of the branded designer moisturizers because i'm older and i need to look out for my wrinkles more so which one's more effective yes yes so there's three things that you might want in a skin product the first one is uh vitamins that work as so you can look for the words vitamins you can look for antioxidants but there's only three vitamins that you'd want a c or e ace and they're the only ones that can be absorbed by the skin okay so, Vitamin A is also known as retinol, or the type that they use in skin products is called retinol. Okay, I have heard of fancy ones with that. So that yeah. means vitamin A. Yes, so okay. you want retinol. It's the only vitamin that's scientifically proven to actually have some effects on okay. your skin. Um, and if you use extra strength retinol, it is only available by prescription, oh. which is good because if something is really effective at changing the structure of your skin or changing your body, it becomes a drug. And drugs are approved by the FDA and you can only get them by prescription. So the best and most effective products for your body are always by prescription. So by Ooh, definition- So can I get prescription anti-aging cream? I think you should talk to your doctor. <laughs> Number two okay. that you want is moisturizing ability. So when you've got moisture in your skin, it's useful and plump, mm -hmm. but if you're in the like, heated air in winter or air conditioned air in summer, it can dry out. So you need to put the moisture back in and then seal it to stop the moisture getting out of your skin. Mm -hmm. Pretty much every moisturizer will do that. If cheap ones, expensive ones, they all kind of do that okay. equally well. Just pick one that feels good on your skin. Okay, what's the other thing? The third thing you might want is sunscreen to protect your skin from UV damage. So that can lead to like changes in pigmentation mm -hmm. and you want to protect your skin, make it look good, not get skin cancer. I still feel like we haven't answered the question. A cheap one that contains the same amount of retinol and moisturizing ingredients and sun protection factor would be the same as a really expensive one. But what you're mostly paying for in the expensive one is nice packaging and great copywriting. They make all these fancy sounding scientific claims, but really you're just paying for their marketing team. If you have any questions that you think need a PsyQ investigation, let us know in the comments below and we'll do our very best. Thank you so much, Beck from Stylog for coming on. I hope your Stylog viewers have now thrown away their expensive sounding products. Don't throw them away, but I'm sure that they're more informed and that's what we aim to do. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.